everyone, I'm Abby Sharp and I'm here with my friend Abby Langer. How's it going? So we're back and you know we've done a lot of these diet testings and we've had a few doozies. Yeah. And I say that like the queen of the detox <laughs> is our friend Gwyneth Paltrow. More like frenemy I would say. Oh. I hate that. Here we are scouring her goop, a treasure trove of misinformation as far as I'm concerned. You don't really have to scour no. my heart. So we took a little look-see and we found that she has a detox that she advocates. Wow, for. that's a shock. I know, weird. Like Gwyneth in a detox? What the So we decided that we'd give it a little gozy. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Okay, we did one day of the seven that because enough. that was enough. Yeah. I, honestly, I, I have a life and, <sighs> and I don't want to kill my husband this week. And so let's get to it. Here I am, about to start a day of Gwyneth Paltrow's diet. So here is the first step, the lemon water. It tastes like lemon water. Nothing, nothing here to see, people. Hey guys, so I'm starting the day here with my lemon water. Not exactly the most filling food in the morning. Not sure how I'm gonna get through my workout, but I'm gonna do my best, so bottoms up. Do this. It did. That's it, it did. And I, yeah. I, at this point, I was I was hopeful. I was I was feeling good. It was morning time. Look, look at the color in my face. I know. I mean, we still it was we good. still looked like normal human beings. It was yeah. first thing in the morning. So now I'm on to the second part of the Gwyneth Paltrow detox cleanse, whatever it is, and it is herbal tea. So. not a lot of food on this is there all right so I'm back for my workout and it's on to meal number two I guess um, no food yet unfortunately but it is tea time and I normally love tea but I'm starving because I have to eat something after a workout and apparently Gwyneth thinks no so we're gonna see how this goes but I'm starting to get really concerned I look a little harassed here. I'm <laughs> doing the tea, but I know. I'm kind of like, I'm getting hungry. So I just finished my workout and I was absolutely ravenous. Like, look at me. I look like hell. I look like death. I mean, I love tea, but like, I mean, I need food for God's sake. I know, especially after a workout. After a workout, I was, I was, I, I hadn't was hungry. worked out yet. Yeah. Okay, so now we've gotten to the actual food part of the detox, and it's a blueberry almond smoothie that I made. It tastes like, how could blueberries taste so bad? Oh! Uh, I'm so excited. First actual food of the day. Even though it's not actually chewable, it's a liquid. It's a liquid meal, but I'm still so psyched. So this is my blueberry almond smoothie. It's basically some frozen blueberries, almond milk, and a bunch of weird powders like greens and protein powder. So not normally would I be excited about this, but in this case I'm starving. So I'm very, very enthusiastic at this point. So it's gross, but it's going to have to do. Oh, oh, look at me. I, know. I look like, ah, it's blueberry grass clipping. It was like a freshly cut lawn. It, it was. It, it was. was. The, the was greens gross. in there with the blueberry. What a waste of blueberries. Okay, guys. So next little mini snack is my coconut water. I hate coconut water, full disclosure, but I'm going to drink it because today I'm really hungry and I need all the nourishment calories that I can possibly get so that my stomach does not eat itself. There's a lot of fake smiling on this diet. Under no other circumstances would I drink this My lunch today consists of little gem lettuce, which I've substituted with just plain um, romaine lettuce because Gwyneth, like, little gem is $6. Who the f wants to spend $6 on lettuce? Um, this is definitely a detox for rich people. Um, and quarter of an avocado and this vile eight ingredient carrot ginger dressing that is absolutely disgusting. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I, I don't care because I'm starving. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my greens here. Oof. And honestly, it looks kind of like a baby ate mac and cheese and then puked all over a bowl of greens. Like it's not appetizing. Um, but again, 
I'm starving. I was so disappointed because I was like really looking forward to real food that I got yeah. to chew. No. And then this was it. This is so low in calories. This is basically a starvation diet. It is. 100%. 100%. See, Abby and Abby, we are in sync, girl. We are. We're starving and in sync. <laughs> That's basically what this does. So snack time on Goop means apparently a handful of sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. And I'm not sure if Gwyneth's hands are as big as mine, but I'm so hungry. I'm planning on like getting the most colossal hand full ever. Like I maybe am gonna use my husband's hand as a gauge because it's bigger than mine. And I think I need like all the pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds because I'm starving. I've literally had a smoothie, some tea, some goddamn coconut water, and a salad with the grossest friggin' dressing I've ever had in my life. Like I almost would rather have had nothing. So I'm gonna enjoy these goddamn seeds. I'm gonna have all of them. I might go get the bag afterwards for another handful because that's the point I'm at right now. I don't think these are rancid. I'm still willing to eat them all. I was hangry. Can you not see the rage in my eyes? Yeah, I was like, you were like man. You were half hangry, half dead. Oh, I was like, get me some fucking seed. By the end you of it, like I was this. like, like I, and I think my seeds had gone rancid. I know, that's exactly it. Like, help me! I'm on goop, sticky tox! I should have warned you. But that's that's the desperation that you get to. Also, just puke them back in. All right. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I could gnaw my own arm off. This is ridiculous. This is not gonna make you lose weight for any appreciable amount of time. Like, just change your eating habits for the better. You don't have to starve yourself. And it's not detoxing anything. It's, it's just idiocy. Anyways, right here I have my broccoli arugula soup, which, I mean, I don't even want to eat this. It's disgusting. It makes me sad. I don't feel healthier. I just feel like deprived and stupid for doing this. So I've made this broccoli and arugula soup here, which honestly, it's not soup. It's just basically a warm smoothie. So I would just prefer if Gwyneth called it like it is because honestly, it's pureed broccoli, arugula, and water and lemon. I mean, it's it's not soup. It's not. No. It was like a wet fart <laughs> smoothie. That's basically My what this was like. like Mommy, do, uh, it, do we have to eat that? Yeah. it smells like farts. <laughs> it did. My house smells like farts. I brought, put it in the fridge. The fridge smells like farts. Like, what does must smell all the time? Yeah, she's... She no, thinks she does. it doesn't stink, but no. let me tell you, on a diet like this, you are going to be smelly. Yeah, Gwyneth does not fart rainbows and sparkles. No. She farts broccoli like and arugula. Ugh. And what's up with the geriatric hour? Like, 6 p.m. for dinner, and then that's the last time you get to eat? I hate that. I had to put myself to bed at like seven because yeah. I was just going to be thinking about food the whole Tossing night. Tossing and turning like, and starving. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dreamt I was like, I was like the t taste tester at Cheesecake Factory. Like yeah. it was a horrible night. And I mean, uh, looking back on, on the day, I don't think I felt any clear headed or, oh, I don't think that was not a word. That's how, you know, you lose your mind yeah. apparently when- You basically become really shitty, really bitchy. I was a bitch. I was Normally, yeah. but this was like to a next level. level. Oh yeah, I know. And so I just gotta say, you don't make friends on Goop's detox. No, just, and you shouldn't. No. Nobody definitely. wants to be friends with someone who does this. Definitely not. Ever. No. So in conclusion, I would say this is not a diet that you need to be going on. Ever. It doesn't make any sense. The rest of the week is just as bad. It's basically just a variation on that. Yeah. A lot of tea, a lot of water, a lot of putrid smoothies. By the detox specialist do doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, guys, you don't need a detox specialist. You don't need any kind of detox because your body is a detox specialist. Right. Well, Abby, I think uh, we did that one yeah. justice, as much justice as it I don't think could. we need to do that for no. a long time. I, I never want to do that again. Yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching us torture ourselves on one day of Goop's Detox. If you did, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave us a comment below with what you want us to try next. Whatever crazy diets you find on the internet, we'll give them a little gozy, yeah. possibly. And of course, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye!